So it's Saturday morning and we're just about to go do something that I've wanted to do for literally years. So y'all know I've been working on clearing out that closet. I've made a lot of progress. I will show you a little bit later, but part of the mess in that closet, part of the stuff that I was just like storing in there and like never using, senseless, is a ton of YouTube cameras, cameras that I've used for a period of time and then stopped. Honestly, like YouTube has really been a journey of like learning and just like trial and error. But I think for most people it's like that because obviously I don't have like a background in knowing anything about cameras. And so it's just like, I'll try this for a little while, see if it works, see if it doesn't work. And like, there's like a whole graveyard that results from that. So the plan is to take all these lenses and old cameras to the camera store and see that if I can get a little bit of money and declutter in the process because I just don't need all this stuff. And I don't know if there's a part of me that's like sad doing this, which is so ridiculous. It's a step forward. It's a good thing for the house. It's a good thing for me. But like, I don't know. It's just like bigger picture thinking about like, YouTube and like how long I've been at it and all the things I've done. Obviously, I've taken a huge step back from the amount of content that I was making in the past and like I, I took the huge break after Lucy was born and like there's been a huge shift. Like things have really changed and for whatever reason, like getting rid of camera stuff in my mind is like it's a little bit sad because it makes me think like, oh no, I'm like not doing YouTube anymore, even though I'm recording on a camera right now that I think I just got last year. Crazy. YouTube has just been such a big part of my life and like this whole learning process of like trying to figure YouTube out while I'm doing it, it's just, it's just been big for me. And just when I have those moments of thinking about like, you know, taking a step back or like how things have changed, like it is a little bit sad to me, but I don't know, I'll just, I'll take the moment to say that I'm grateful for you guys sticking with me here and following along with the journey and showing your support and everything, even through all of these big changes. And even though I don't have the same consistent schedule, I don't know, I'm just being real open at the beginning of this video. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully they give me a little money for this because it's a lot. Like I've got like legit giant, lenses that honestly I never <laughs> I was never qualified to have these like crazy lenses and cameras and everything and like like a good American I kept some of the boxes anyway we gotta go make that happen I'm gonna feel good once this happens it's just don't think about it you know Lucy girl she's like listening to you talk but she's like oh, she's yeah. telling me something All right. <laughs> great by the way, we do have a new YouTuber in the house. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa. Hey, drum roll. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Trumpets? We don't have to talk about it right now. Yeah, look out. Actually, something is happening. You know what I thought about? The next video that comes out is a big one. <laughs> what are we gonna talk about? The next video that comes out on the channel it's gonna be a big one. But this one's just a regular old weekend vlog. <laughs> yeah, you can turn it off. Let's go. Don't turn it <laughs> off. Sissy girl. We went through the whole process. They were interested in three of the lenses. And like, let's let's think about it. In my YouTube career, any of those lenses were used for like maybe a year. And they were used like once a week for like maybe two hours max to record like my little sit down videos in my little house. Like they were not getting like abused. They were not out there dipping into it in the world, wear and tear, like wear and tear wear. And they lowballed us so hard. It felt like a scam. And even the guy, he was like, you can get a lot, a lot, a lot more if you just sell them on your own. So despite my better judgment, I think that's what we're gonna do. And we didn't end up selling him there. Uh, it was really, it was a really bad offer. It was a really bad offer. Really bad offer. <laughs> All right, time for lunch. I need to scoot in because I need to be quiet because Lucy's napping. But also, like, 
My skin is having a rough time right now, so I don't wanna like get in your face. <sighs> Do you ever feel like your nighttime self is maybe your worst enemy? <laughs> because I definitely have been feeling like that. I've just been messing with my skin so much more than I have in so long, like since I was a teenager. And like right here, I don't know if you can even see it. You can see it. <laughs> there, there was basically nothing there. And then I just made it like 10 times worse. It always seems like such a good idea in the moment. You're like, mm, I'm just gonna fix it. I'm just gonna make it better and it always makes it 10 times worse and look crazy for like days longer. So that's what's going on there in case you were wondering about my skincare routine. <laughs> anyway, right now, Lucy's sleeping, we had lunch, Grant just went to go get like a car inspection and I'm gonna do the Limber 11. It's, I'm crazy sore right now. Like, I don't know if I just like worked out way harder this week than usual. I didn't. I worked out like Monday through Friday like I always do and I've been doing the iron series. I can link it down below if you're curious. For whatever reason, I'm so sore today and I really need to do like some extra stretching because that's of course always the thing that falls off if you don't have enough time. I want to do the limber 11. That is just like catch-all. Like I'm sore. My body's like tight, whatever. Like that video saves lives, I'm convinced. Like I always go back to it, but I'm also gonna do something new that I just started a couple of days ago. It's called the Mutu system. This is not like a sponsored thing and I'm actually like in my free trial right now. I cannot tell you like whether it's like fabulous or not, but it's a like, I don't wanna say like workout plan, but it's like a diastasis recti or pelvic floor repair routine really it talks about like a ton of different issues but the thing that i'm most interested in is diastasis recti because i don't have it really bad width wise but i think it's deep so i always end up avoiding ab workouts and i'd really like to not do that or not be scared about ab workouts so that's why i always avoid it and i've been meaning to try to either see a physical therapist or do something like this for so long i'm finally doing it it was like on my 2024 goal list anyway that's what i'm gonna do right now get myself feeling a little bit better i'm just so sore but like honestly I love being sore. I love that feeling on a Friday or a Saturday after a whole week of working out where you're just like, I did something. I can feel it. Like, I'm that person that's like, if the skincare isn't hurting, it's not working. <laughs> anyway. Ooh, you know what? You can see the new rug from this angle. I showed y'all on Instagram, but I haven't showed you here. I'll show you later. I gotta do this thing. like that stretch got me a little out of sorts right now. The sponsor for this portion of the vlog is BetterHelp. I've gotten therapy and definitely benefited from therapy through BetterHelp. If you haven't heard of BetterHelp yet, it's an online therapy platform that connects you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen, to hear where you're at, listen to your situation, and offer an unbiased perspective, advice, encouragement, and to really meet you where you are physically and mentally because it's all done online. So like for me, I'm I'm so busy. Like I mentally feel like I cannot fit one more thing in and I feel like everybody is on the same page with that. So like for me during nap time, like I could not go do therapy. Like that's not an option for me, but I could do therapy online. They also offer therapy by phone, messaging, video calls. So it's really flexible in that way also. All the ways that they've made it more accessible, it just like takes away some of those like mental barriers to get yourself into therapy. And it just makes it so much more simple. And signing up is really, really easy. You just go to their site, answer some questions about yourself, your expectations, your needs, and then you get matched with a licensed therapist and you get going. So if you've been thinking about getting started with therapy, definitely consider the sponsor BetterHelp to get you connected to a therapist. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Leanne says that's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. The link will be in the description down below and you can actually get 10% off your first month of therapy. Oh, some people asked in the last vlog, I just published the last vlog yesterday, so it's like on the top of my mind. Some people were asking me about this necklace. I've had it for like a year, a year and a half or so but it's still online. I'll link it in the description down below. It's so cute. I feel 
I feel like jewelry right now, like the, the more chunky jewelry trends coming around and like the charm bracelets and the charm necklaces and stuff like that. It's a very Betsy Johnson. Tell me I'm wrong. Betsy Johnson was the end all be all epitome of cool when I was like middle school. I think my freshman year homecoming dress was Betsy Johnson. There was a Betsy Johnson store in the Galleria in Houston. It was teeny, 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 tiny, but I loved every scrap of material in that shop where like it was ultra feminine, but something different. And you just, it was just something different and it was so what I loved at that time. Definitely love that the trends are kind of going in that direction. It's a much more fun, unserious direction and like what could be more Betsy than just like a giant gold heart in the middle of your chest. Like I will link this down below. I'm sure Betsy Johnson has a very similar one or has in the past. Okay, so we're just about to, whoa. <laughs> we're just about to go out to eat. But I want to stop by a store real quick because I wanna do a little prep for something special that's happening on Monday. Lucy has her very first official field trip and I'm going, like all the parents have the option of coming along and I'm so excited to go with her. The field trip is at the rodeo and if you don't know, the rodeo in Houston is like, crazy huge. I've only ever been to one other rodeo before and it was in Fort Worth and we had so much fun. The seats were amazing. Like it was a totally different thing and it was so cool. But the one in Houston is just like beyond massive. It just goes on and on forever. Like you cannot see everything in one day. Like it's huge on like the concert element and for the field trip, we're just going in the morning and we got like a whole pass and everything. Feels very official, feels very VIP. We're just about to head into Cavender's Boot City and I just wanted to look around a little bit and see if they had like a cute outfit for little girls. Lucy has some cute little boots that I got her from Target and she can wear those but i just i just wanted to browse around a little bit and see if there's something cute that she can wear like i just feel like this is gonna be so much fun are you jealous grant i'm jealous yeah i wish i could go i wish you could go too i always want you to go yeah grant did a little bit of research for us and found out that cavenders is superior to boot barn comment below <laughs> Weigh in, Team Boot Barn, Team yeah. Cavenders. We need to know. Are you gonna get anything while we're in there? Are you gonna get some boots? Yeah. Get some boots some, and some batteries. Some duds, maybe a new pair of Wranglers. I don't know how old my parents said that I was. This is definitely not something I remember happening, but apparently one year I asked Santa for boots and batteries. Mm -hmm. The batteries for my toys that had run out of batteries. All I needed was some new batteries and some new boots. <laughs> I was a very country baby. Anyway. I need to be <gasps> Man, it's kind of crazy in here. Mommy and me, bandana, flare jeans. Look at these Crocs. Just kicking. Hold on. Look how precious. Okay, Cavenders didn't work out. Just look at this little jacket. <laughs> cow print. Grant's having his cheat day tonight. Couldn't even decide what kind of cheating he wanted to do. But looks like this is the kind of cheating.